Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, meaning coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Sham means name. Waka means holy, Kodash means spirit. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of great millstone who will well and teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect and shalom to you sincere brothers scattered abroad pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp. Las Vegas, Nevada branch, and pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as Fear the Lord, okay, Fear the Lord, and it's been a while since I did a lesson like this on this topic, but you want to fear the Lord, um, you know, being in this truth, or in general, knowing that you're an Israelite, you want to fear Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, because there's a, a lot of things that are going on out here um, that we can see with these wars, you know, we can see with, you know, the, the economy, the inflation, you know, all of these, these things, you know, we can, we can see it, you know, and all we have is the Lord to make it through, you know, the Lord is the one that's directing our paths, so, you know, you want to fear the Lord and and seek him ten times more, as the scriptures say, you know, seek him ten times more, you know, pray to the Lord, ask the Lord for mercy, guidance, strength, you know, uh, exhortation, examining, you know, building up, humility, you know, so you want to fear the Lord. You know, I got, you know, I don't have no precepts, so I'm just going to read, you know, different different verses in this lesson, you know. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, okay? Because once you come into this truth, okay, you understand the protocols, the do's and don'ts. You know, you begin to know the knowledge and understanding of this gospel, this ministry, and you know the end result of not, you know, fearing the Lord, being obedient to the Lord, you know, um, becoming that new creature, examining yourself. You know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge because you learn the protocols to this truth, the protocols to these things in general, right? It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And those fools is the two-thirds. You know, our people, they, be, they believe they have their own free will. They believe that they can do and say and do what they want. Okay, they don't fear the Lord. They despise wisdom and instruction. The scriptures say in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right? They have the zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. That's in Romans 10 and 2. Okay? So, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So, we fear the Lord. We understand the, the, the principles to these things. Okay? The parables. We understand that the Lord is not taking no mess. He is not playing. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord. You see that? Anytime you see Lord in caps... That's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And it says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. You see that? The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. And these two things are the things that you want to really watch out for. Pride and arrogancy. Okay? The spirit of pride and the spirit of arrogance is what you want to really be careful for in this truth. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. You have to remind yourself with humility. With humility. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way. You see that? 
Because pride and arrogancy is the evil way. It's not of the Lord. You don't fear the Lord with pride and arrogancy. You fear the Lord with meekness and humility and exhortation and examination. Okay? And it says, in the four mouth do I hate. The Lord hates a four mouth. The Lord hates a person with a four mouth. You know what a four mouth is, you know? People that make criticism to this truth, don't want to hear this truth, reject the truth. They a scoffer, a demon, you know? The Lord hates that. That's why the scriptures say that uh, uh, there's going to be a judgment, you know, to those that are scoffers. After these last days, there should be scoffers walking out of their own lust. Those scoffers are going to receive a judgment, you know? They don't fear the Lord. Matthew, let me see. Matthew 10 and 28. And the fear of them, it says, and the fear not, it says, and fear not them, Salakia, and fear not them, which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. You see that? So this is why we don't fear men. You know, this is why you shouldn't fear men. You know, yes, they can kill the body. Any man can kill the body. Any man can kill the body, right? But he can't kill the soul. He's unable to kill the soul. It says, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul, right? Both soul and body in hell. And you want to fear your Bashi Mashai. Because he could destroy body and soul. But man in this society, they could destroy the they could kill the body, but they can't they can't kill the soul. Okay, so this is why we fear the Lord. Okay, this is why we fear the Lord. Um You can read this. Achilleastes 12 and 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, right? Bashim Yashai, and keep his commandments. Because when you fear the Lord, you're going to be obedient to him, right? You're going to do what pleases the Lord. You're going to show your love towards the Lord if you fear the Lord. You're going to be fully obedient to the Lord, right? So you're going to keep his commandments. That shows you that you love him. Right when you when you fear the Lord, you're gonna be obedient to Him. You're gonna do whatever pleases the Lord to the best of your ability. It says, "For this is the whole duty of men, and that's our duty as Israelite Israelite men is to fear the Lord and to keep His commandments to the best of our ability, because that shows the Heavenly Father that we love Him, we fear Him, and we're trying to do His will, not our own will, the Lord's will." Yahweh Shai. When you read, uh, I think it's John 6 and 38, right? He said, I came not on, I was not sent on earth to do my own will, but the Father who sent me. So he was about the Father's will. So we are, we have to be about the Father's will, okay? Fearing the Lord with trembling and, and fear, right? Doing the Lord's will, man. See where else I can read. Um, Proverbs 14 and 27. It says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. You see that? The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death and snares of trap. Right? Because what does the scripture say in uh, Romans 6 and 23? For the wages of sin is death. All right? For the wages of sin is death. Okay? That's a snare. That's a snare of death. The wages of sin. Right? To depart from the snares of death. Okay? Sin. You want to depart from the ways of sin. Alright? Now, we all sin. Okay? We all sin. But I'm saying in general, willingly sinning. Because you got Jake's that willingly sin. They have that impenitent heart, a penitent mind. Okay? Where they, they, don't, they, they don't have no regrets or shame. They just willingly sinning out here. To depart from the snares of death, man. For sin is the wages of death. You know, so don't get me wrong. We are going to fall in these bodies. We ain't perfect, but we don't willingly purposely try to sin and willingly sin and believe we have our own free will. We don't have those type of um, beliefs, man. Okay. What else can I get? This is uh, Psalms 86 and 11. It says, teach me thy way, O Lord. You see, teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth and unite my mind to fear thy name. You see that? So we 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 fear the Lord. We're going to walk in the Lord's ways. We're going to apply ourselves, 
you know, uh, our spiritual walk with these holy scriptures. These scriptures, we're going to apply them to our spiritual walk. And we're going to do as best as we can to obey the Lord, to, to do His will. Okay? We're going to want to learn His way. Right? And walk in His truth. Because this is, that's what it is. Doing the Father's will, walking in His way. You know? Psalms 86 and 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my mind to fear thy name. See, because you want to fear the Lord. You want to fear the Lord, man. You don't want to be a person that to think that, uh, you know, you don't need to fear the Lord and that you can just, you know, just do whatever you want because that's not the case. This is Philippians uh, 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's one of the biggest parts in fearing the Lord and his truth. Is working out our salvation, our own salvation, with fear and trembling. Okay? You want to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you want to fear the Lord. Okay? Because you don't have no control over your life. The Lord is the one that's in control. Okay? The Lord is the one that's in control. Let me see if I can get that precept. Actually... I go to my um, blue letter real quick. This is um, I think it's Proverbs. Is it three and five? It's locking. Proverbs three and five. Here it is, right here. Proverbs three and five. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning mind, and lean not into thine own understanding." And that's one thing you don't want to have in this truth is leaning into your own understanding and believe you can have your own way. That's not fear in the Lord. Okay, you want to trust in the Lord with thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him. Acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Shai, and he shall direct thy paths. Because the Lord is the one, right? The scriptures say men's goings are of the Lord, right? And it says, verse 7, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. You see that? So this is why you want to follow suit, okay? You want to follow suit. The Lord is the one that directs our paths, right? The scriptures say men's goings are of the Lord. So, hey, man, I just wanted to get a lesson in. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, giving all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kakodash, and double honor to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well. Because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of by Shemashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers. Scatter abroad, push forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters. Let's listen in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And I pray, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And on to the next one. Shalom.